Picture the Fifth Solvay Conference, Brussels, 1927. A gathering of the greatest minds in physics. Imagine the anticipation in the air as the world's leading scientists, many of them already legends, arrived from across Europe and beyond. The city itself buzzed with excitement knowing that history was about to be made within its walls. The now iconic photograph captured 29 attendees, 17 of whom were or would become Nobel laureates. This single image is a time capsule, freezing a moment when the future of science was being decided by a handful of brilliant minds. This was the collision of classical physics and the new strange world of quantum mechanics. The old certainties were dissolving, replaced by questions that seemed almost philosophical in their depth. Marie Curie, Max Planck, Werner Heisenberg, Paul Dirac, Erwin Schrödinger, all present. Each brought their own unique perspective, their own theories and doubts, to the table. But the spotlight was on Hendrik Lorentz and Albert Einstein, whose debates with Niels Bohr over quantum theory became legendary. These were not just academic arguments, they were passionate, sometimes heated, and always deeply personal. The conference was more than a meeting, it was a battle for the soul of physics. Every discussion, every late-night conversation, pushed the boundaries of what was thought possible. Einstein, representing the old guard, resisted the randomness of quantum mechanics, famously declaring, God does not play dice. He believed in an underlying order to the universe, a logic that could be uncovered. The younger physicists embraced the weirdness, forging a new framework for the subatomic world. They were unafraid to challenge tradition, to imagine realities that defied common sense. The 1927 Solvay Conference marked a fundamental shift in our understanding of reality. It was here that the seeds of modern physics were sown and the questions raised would echo for decades. Newton's clockwork universe was shattered, relativity and quantum mechanics collided, the very fabric of space and time was up for debate, and nothing would ever be the same. Humanity was forced to confront a universe far stranger than ever imagined. The mysteries of the cosmos suddenly seemed deeper, more beautiful, and more perplexing. This was the dawn of modern physics, a new era, born from the courage to question everything we thought we knew. Before quantum mechanics took center stage, two brilliant minds, Hendrik Lorentz and Albert Einstein, had already begun to transform our understanding of the universe in ways that would echo for generations. Lorentz, a Dutch Nobel laureate, was fascinated by the mysteries of light and motion. He sought to explain how light traveled through the vast emptiness of space, proposing the existence of a mysterious substance called the ether as its medium, a concept that dominated physics for decades. Although the ether theory was eventually set aside, Lorentz's mathematical equations, especially his transformations, became the essential backbone for the new physics of relativity. His work laid the groundwork for a radical shift in scientific thought. Then came Einstein, the revolutionary thinker who took Lorentz's mathematics and reimagined the universe itself. He boldly discarded the ether, arguing that it was unnecessary and that the laws of physics should be the same for all observers. Einstein proposed something astonishing. The speed of light is constant, and the laws of physics are universal, no matter how fast you're moving or where you are in the cosmos. This insight became the cornerstone of special relativity, a theory that would forever change our perception of reality. Lorentz, ever the meticulous scientist built carefully on the foundations of classical physics, striving to preserve the old ideas even as new evidence emerged. But Einstein saw a deeper, more profound principle. Space and time themselves were not fixed and absolute, but relative, woven together in a fabric that could bend and stretch. Lorentz's pioneering work served as a crucial bridge, connecting the certainties of classical physics with the bold new ideas of the 20th century. Einstein's genius was not just in his equations, but in his imagination, using Lorentz's mathematical tools to envision a universe where space and time themselves could flex, shift, and interact in ways no one had previously imagined. Despite their different approaches, Lorentz and Einstein shared a deep mutual respect. Their intellectual dialogue and collaboration fueled scientific progress, even as their ideas sometimes diverged. Together, their work set the stage for the revolutions in physics that would soon follow, inspiring generations of scientists to question, explore, and redefine the boundaries of knowledge. Thanks to Lorentz and Einstein, the universe would never look the same again, and our journey to understand its mysteries had only just begun. Einstein's special relativity rests on two simple postulates, yet their implications are profound and far-reaching. First, 
The laws of physics are the same for all observers moving at constant velocity. No absolute rest, only relative motion. This means that whether you're on a moving train or standing on a platform, the fundamental laws governing the universe remain unchanged. Whether you're on Earth, in a speeding spaceship, or piloting a jet, physics works the same. This universality is a cornerstone of our understanding of the cosmos. Second, the speed of light in a vacuum is constant for all observers, no matter how fast they're moving or how the light source moves. This constancy of light speed is a radical departure from everyday experiences. This defies common sense. Turn on your headlights at 60 miles per hour, and both you and a bystander measure the light at the same speed. It's as if the universe conspires to keep light speed unchanging. To keep light speed constant, time and space must flex. Time slows, lengths contract. This flexibility of time and space is what makes relativity so intriguing and counterintuitive. These postulates shattered the old absolute view of space and time, replacing it with a dynamic and relative framework. If two observers must agree on light speed, they must disagree on time and distance. This mutual agreement and disagreement form the basis of relativity. The result, a universe with a cosmic speed limit, and reality itself becomes relative. This cosmic speed limit is the speed of light, the ultimate speed at which information can travel. This is the heart of relativity's strangeness. It challenges our perceptions and forces us to rethink our understanding of the universe. Everything else follows from here. The implications of these postulates continue to shape modern physics and our quest to understand the cosmos. The Lorentz transformations are the mathematical rules that make relativity work. Lorentz originally devised them to explain why experiments couldn't detect the ether. Einstein realized these equations weren't about ether, they were about how space and time change for moving observers. If you and I move relative to each other, the Lorentz transformations let us translate our measurements of space and time. They mix space and time, leading to time dilation and length contraction. At everyday speeds these effects are tiny, near light speed they're dramatic. My now isn't your now if we're moving differently. Space and time aren't fixed, they stretch and squeeze to keep light speed constant. The Lorentz transformations shattered the old universal clockwork view. They revealed a universe where reality depends on your motion. Hermann Minkowski, Einstein's former teacher, gave relativity a new geometric form. He united space and time into a four-dimensional continuum space-time. To locate an event, you need three spatial coordinates and one time coordinate. An object's path through space-time is its world line. If you're still, your world line moves straight through time. If you're moving, it tilts through space and time. Lorentz transformations become rotations in space-time. Motion is like rotating your perspective in four dimensions, causing time to slow and lengths to contract. This geometric view made relativity's strangeness feel natural. Space-time also defines causality. Draw a light cone at any event, and it shows what can influence or be influenced limited by light speed. Anything outside the cone is causally disconnected, no signal can reach it faster than light. Minkowski's space-time is the map of what's possible in our universe. It's the stage on which relativity plays out. The constancy of light speed is the foundation of special relativity. Maxwell's equations showed light is an electromagnetic wave with a fixed speed, set by nature's constants. Unlike baseballs or cars, light speed doesn't add up with yours, it's always the same. This clashed with Newtonian mechanics and led to the ether hypothesis which failed. Einstein trusted Maxwell's equations not common sense and made light speed the universal constant. The result, the speed of light, c, is the ultimate speed limit. As you approach c, it takes infinite energy to go faster. Only massless particles like photons can reach it. This principle forced space and time to become flexible, not fixed. Light's unwavering speed is the universe's measuring stick. It's the rule that shapes reality itself. Relativity isn't just for physicists, it's part of daily life. GPS satellites rely on both special and general relativity to keep time accurate. Satellites move fast, so their clocks tick slower, they're also farther from Earth's gravity, so their clocks tick faster. The net effect satellite clocks get ahead by 38 microseconds per day. Without correcting for relativity, GPS would be off by miles in a single day. Einstein's ELMC2 powers nuclear energy and explains the sun's brilliance. Medical tech like PET scans uses principles rooted in relativity. The strange world of relativity is woven into our technology. Every time you use your phone's map, you're relying on Einstein and Lorentz. Modern life runs on the legacy of relativity. The 1927 Solvay Conference was a turning point sparking debates that still shape physics. Einstein challenged quantum mechanics' randomness. 
Bohr defended it, deepening our understanding. Their debates led to new fields quantum information, computing, and entanglement. The legacy is an ongoing quest to understand reality's deepest layers. Lawrence and Einstein's work remains central. Special relativity is tested and trusted. General relativity, Einstein's theory of gravity, predicts black holes and gravitational waves. The 2015 detection of gravitational waves opened a new window on the cosmos. Today's greatest challenge uniting general relativity and quantum mechanics. The search for a theory of everything continues, inspired by Solvay's legacy. The conversation that began in 1927 still drives physics forward. That 1927 photograph captures the spirit of human curiosity. Lawrence and Einstein showed us that space and time are not absolute but flexible and strange. Their work was both a humbling and liberating revelation. They taught us to question assumptions and embrace the unknown. The universe is vast, complex and often counterintuitive, but it is knowable. The legacy of Solvay is a commitment to relentless inquiry. Today we still face mysteries, dark matter, dark energy, the Big Bang, and more. We stand on the shoulders of giants continuing their quest. The story of relativity is a testament to our drive to understand the cosmos. The journey continues fueled by the same curiosity that filled that room in Brussels.